Hello, everybody. Call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted to just uh, uh, let you know my thoughts on on Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve. He's a Federal Reserve chairman, and the what they've done in order to stimulate the uh, the missing piston in our economy, as he says, uh, which is the real estate market. This is the third time that the Federal Reserve has decided to get involved and try to uh, artificially increase uh, demand in the real estate market and get it going again because, you know, by gosh, we need to have the federal government pushing. What they're going to do is they're going to buy, at least at the beginning, about $40 billion in mortgage-backed securities. Now, that's your money that's uh, going to go in and buy some of these mortgage-backed securities that... Uh, uh, they said it'll only be technically good loans uh, that are purchase money mortgages uh, that were used to purchase homes and that sort of thing. Here's the problem. They've done it three times. Hasn't worked. And he also says that the the purpose in, in buying and spending your money, $40 billion, is to lower interest rates. Well, I have news for you, Mr. Bernanke. Interest rates are at 3% right now. Three, three and a half. Okay. Somewhere under four. And it's not working. Buyers are out there. Buyers are choosing only to wait until there's an awesome deal and then they're jumping on it. So why are you getting involved? Do you think that at 2% over 3%, which are all historic lows, don't you think at 3% we would have seen just extraordinary growth? I mean, inventory's all-time low, well, not all-time lows, but very low right now comparatively I mean we're down in our market down 3,000 homes on average in inventory from just two to three years ago you know a small inventory low interest rates equal should be higher demand higher prices but it's not happening so probably lowering the interest rates aren't going to matter and at the same time you've wasted 40 billion dollars of taxpayer money with the idea and teaching people that well you know you need the government we're we're dependent upon you to save the real estate market and and really what you're doing is you're making in my opinion the banks very dependent uh because now even if you do see a slight recovery or whatever you plan on seeing uh it's going to make to get those same results continuing the banks are probably going to change the way they do things and, and it's going to become like a drug addict they're going to need it they're going to need this stimuli uh the stimulus uh when they when things get bad and we don't want to get in the habit of that the just like people we, we need to earn it ourselves the banks need to do too and uh I guess just sharing with everybody so that they don't get a misperception and, and so that y'all understand that I really believe Ben Bernanke and the Fed are sticking their nose in something that they failed at twice, has not worked, and they're doing it again, and they're going to keep doing it to drive interest rates. And what happens when you drive these interest rates a lot lower is inflation comes in, your dollar's worth less, uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, keep in mind there always are, uh, like a lot of stimuli, uh, there are side effects, so uh, we need to be careful about that. But anyway, uh, read about it. Uh, I, I encourage everybody to research it. But uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm very interested in what y'all have to say. Uh, email me, callyour at megaagents.com. Have an awesome day.